Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do want to give you guys a quick update. I am going to commit myself to trying the best I can to upload videos every Tuesday and Friday. So from here on out, you do not have to guess or you do not have to wait for that notification. Just know that I will be uploading every Tuesday and every Friday for you guys. Okay, so definitely stay tuned for that. Now on to your reading cancer. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. I hope that this um, month brings you guys new opportunities and new possibilities. The sky is the limit as we are in the beginning of the month. So let's see what spirit has for cancers, cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Okay, I'm definitely sensing a lot of commotion. Um, I was shuffling the cards, but I was actually having trouble. Uh, and I, I don't feel that it's a bad energy. I just feel you guys are going to be extremely busy for the month of June. If some of you guys have experienced a little bit of a slow pace, uh, that's quickly going to change now. Your general energies is, like I said, okay, so this is general energies and the general energies usually signify um, the past and passing. So this could be energy that you have been feeling or have been experiencing already. Now, the Four of Cups definitely talks about, again, like I said, scattered energy, but also speaks about boredom more than anything. So if you guys have been experiencing, again, like I said, um, a very slow pace or like things are not changing, they're not progressing or whatnot. Um, I definitely do see that that's quickly going to change because this is past and passing energies. So let me see what Four of Cups has for you guys. Okay, for some of you guys that have been experiencing um, a lot of difficulties in your life, um, almost like you lost the spark of creativity. You've lost the spark of hopefulness is what I'm hearing. I hope that's not everyone. Um, because it's almost like a very sad type of energy. And I just want to let you guys know that with the Four of Cups, uh, as you can see here, the mermaid is handing to this uh, kid a cup filled with water in it. And he's very uh, complacent. He's not really paying attention and he's looking at the other empty cups. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that you you just don't have that spark. You're not as um, inspired or you haven't been as inspired, but that's quickly going to change as spirit is letting you know or telling you that opportunities are going to be coming your way. So snap out of that phone, cancers, and be open to the possibilities, okay? Now let's pull out your other card. See, this is, oh my God, I could have not said it better. You guys have the eight of wands here. So eight of wands is very, very opposite energy towards the four of cups. Um, again, like I said, that that's definitely what I've seen for you guys. Anyways, we'll get into it right now. Let me pull out more cards. Okay. So again, like I said, I definitely see that that energy is quickly going to be changing. You guys are going to be experiencing a lot of quick movement, a lot of communication coming back and forth, a lot of communication in social media, uh, anything to do with business, anything to do with uh, communication, even with loved ones or whatnot, uh, that's quickly going to be changing for you guys and becoming very rapid, almost like you're trying um, to catch a break. Um, that's how it's going to feel by the end of the month of June. Now, let's see what Spirit has for you guys with this Eight of Wands. So there's communication coming through for you cancers. Um, it could be communication in regards to a relationship or someone that perhaps in the past walked away from you or you're no longer communicating with them. Um, I definitely see uh, like your your soul being ignited or being recharged. Um, the red ribbon here is definitely standing out very strongly for me and that usually talks about passion. So for some of you guys, it could be that you just been single for quite a while and you're not as enthusiastic about actually getting into or trying and testing new waters. Um, definitely try the best you can for the month of June not to be stuck and not to be stubborn. What I mean by that is if you've been single for quite a while and you're wanting to, uh, you know, be in a relationship or find someone that you have a lot of commonalities with and pro progress that relationship you need to let go of old past behaviors, okay? The hanged man definitely talks about um, seeing life a certain way and not being as open and almost like 
I, I'm hearing like you're just stuck to the mud. Like your, your heels are, you're just not wanting to change. And there is a necessity for you to change in order to experience new beginnings for you guys. Okay. Now you do have here the five of cups. So the five of cups is feeling very dissatisfied in regards to relationships. For some of you guys, it could even represent that uh, there was an, a cut or communicate or loss of communication from a person that you were genuinely interested in. Nonetheless, again, like I said, there is some type of past behavior in regards to you, Cancers, that you continuously keep doing almost like self-sabotaging yourself. For those of you guys that are single and are trying to find um, or trying to manifest a long-term relationship, try the best you can, okay? Listen to what I'm saying. Try the best you can not to put effort and energy towards people that are from a long distance, okay? And what this means is if it's um, like through social media that you meet people, whatever it is, there is a necessity for you to actually have physical contact with them. So this could be a defensive mechanism for some of you guys that you like to connect with people that are like over the internet or something, because perhaps there is a lot of, um, a lot of issues that you feel like if they actually knew you or if they actually spent time with you, you would not be as interesting to them. And spirit is telling you it's time to shake yourself out of that funk and actually go after people that are emotionally available and that actually want to hang out with you, that want to spend time with you, that want to get to know the real you, okay? Now, for others of you, you do have the justice card here. So if you felt um, in regards to relationships, like a person walked out of your life without telling you why, and you've been, um, you haven't had any clarity. I definitely see that for the month of June, there's going to be clarity coming to you and they may actually look for you and communicate with you and let you know what it is that, what happened or why was the reason, whatever, the reason doesn't matter. So what spirit is telling you is, However you felt that you've been treated unfairly or unjust for the month of June 2018, karma is going to be knocking at their door and you're going to see everything unfold. You're going to be basically um, the, the, the scales, the balance is going to be restored and it's going to be restored in your favor, Cancer, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other on Friday.